guys, I'm back with a new video and let's talk about the menu. So, as you can tell, we are doing this one vlog style. Uh, I got some good feedback on my last one, uh, which was the smile review. So, if you haven't seen that one, check it out. But yeah, I got some feedback that people like this vlog style. So I decided to do it for the menu. Um, I'm not going to a premiere or anything. I'm just going. I paid my own money to watch this film. And as you can see, the train is passing by. As you can see, I'm still not ready. Uh, so I have to get going because I'm kind of running late, as per usual. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you all know about the menu. I don't know much. I know it stars Anya Taylor Joy, Nicholas Holt, and uh, Ralph Fiennes. Fiennes. I know it's about like a restaurant. I think it's about a game as well, I'm not too sure. I did see the teaser trailer, like the first first one, but I haven't seen anything else since. Uh, I managed to avoid the trailers. Uh, and yeah, I'm going blind. I hope this is an exciting one, I hope it's surprising. And yeah, I need to get going. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Get ready, finish, get ready and go to the cinema. with the film um, but let's talk about what I liked first so I I thought the idea and the focus the movie has on like cuisine and like cooking um, it I really liked how focused it is on the food itself uh, that he's heightened by the cinematography, which I really enjoyed. Not really the cinematography, more like the editing. Cause it's really interesting how they present uh, each dish. Um, it's like every plate uh, of food, like, yeah, every dish. It's presented in a really, like, high cuisine, like, really heightened fancy uh, cooking like you know those youtube channels or those like food programs that present the food in a really sophisticated way like they present the food that way it's like really embellished they also have like a description in the bottom or the top like there's a description of the food and like the ingredients and whatnot um so that was like really food like like fancy cuisine type of thing so i enjoyed that they really leaned on the the restaurant aspect of the whole thing so i enjoyed that uh, obviously the acting was really good um i don't think any taylor joy had enough uh to make her shine like her character 
isn't really that developed, so I guess that's a negative. Uh, but on the other hand, there, like Nicholas Holt, I think he really, really leans on his character and how absurd he is, so I like that. But even without a lot, uh, Annie Taylor Joy, she shines obviously. Now, what I didn't like, I felt like the film was a little bit pretentious. I guess it's kind of bad timing because these came out at the same time as Triangle of Sadness. At least here in Portugal, like Triangle of Sadness came out like two weeks ago, three weeks ago maybe, and I did watch that one. And now the menu came out and they have a pretty similar topic. They like have the same commentary. Um, I don't know if I want to say what it is, uh, so I guess I'll just leave it till the end so I can talk spoilers a little bit. But yeah, they touch on the same topics and that's a bit unfortunate because I think Triangle of Sadness does a better job at that. That one is like like really in your face with the commentary. Uh, it's really in your face comedy. Uh, while this one is more of a dark comedy, it's not super horrifying really. Uh, I guess you can put it on the horror genre, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's horror horror um, but yeah it's there's little bits of horror in this one so if you are not a fan of horror maybe this is a good one for you uh, although there's like some triggering imagery in there like there's one scene that's pretty shocking um, and definitely check trigger warnings for that uh, but uh, yeah, so the social commentary is pretty, like, mm, it's, I, I think it's really obvious, uh, but it doesn't really say a lot, there, it's not really developed, and at the end of the day, I felt like the movie, yeah, just gets a little bit pretentious with the commentary, because it's commenting on one thing and I don't know it's not really developing it it's yeah it doesn't really add much to it it's not that funny like it's definitely entertaining and I laughed quite a bit but yeah I don't know like at the end of the day I left a little bit unsatisfied uh, which curious like wordplay because this is about food and I wasn't satisfied um, so yeah I I don't know I I wanted more like it looks like there will be like a really really big reveal and I just mm, wasn't that into it I mean there's not really a big reveal to be honest so yeah uh, I mean I I didn't hate it but I was expecting so 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 much more from this one unfortunately uh, so when it comes to my scores overall I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 5 yeah I feel like a lot of people like this one but maybe I just had really really high expectations uh, cinematography I think I'm gonna give it a three and a half because I did like the editing mostly but there's not really much of a stylization to the shots and like color grading and stuff and originality I think I'll give it a three because the food aspect is original I don't think we have like a movie like this but yeah the commentary was like yeah we've seen that uh, recently and it's not really developed so yeah now I'm gonna talk a little bit spoilers so if you don't want to know I guess that's it <laughs> uh, but if you've seen the film and you don't mind a little bit of spoilers uh, I'm not gonna name any like plot points but I, I do want to talk about the commentary uh, so if you don't mind that you can stay so Fair warning, spoiler alert. 
but this is about high society and like yeah just rich people and what that does to a person it also talks about like artists and how when they get like famous and stuff they start losing like the passion and it's all about the money um and it, yeah it really leans on the rich people aspect which yeah it's the same thing as triangle of sadness as i said and yeah there's a few characters that are like really really on the nodes the most interesting character really is Nicholas Holt because he plays like their fanboy um, and the commentary on his character is a little bit different uh, but, but still like then there's a point where Annie Taylor Joy's character confronts uh, like the chef uh, Ralph Fiennes character and I mean the message of that is nice but it's yeah it's just your typical stuff about how the small things and how the like the less embellished stuff are more important than the fancy things um, like what matters like the simple things matter the most which is nice but I, I mean there's not much besides that so I was I left a little bit unsatisfied and yeah those are my thoughts on the menu I had like really 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 high expectations and although I liked it and I was entertained I wanted so much more and I wanted a big reveal there's no not really a game aspect to this one um yeah they're trapped in there there's not much they can do that's also something that kind of annoyed me because I feel like they have so many opportunities to fight back and they don't that annoyed me um, but I guess that's part of the commentary like the rich people just accept their fate I guess I don't know but I guess that's pretty much it for me overall it is entertaining it's an interesting film I would sort of recommend it but yeah i wanted so much more let me know in the comments what you thought i'm pretty sure you all have seen this one uh, by now because this has been out in the us for a little bit so let me know in the comments where you thought of the menu like did you enjoy it have you seen triangle of sadness because if you haven't seen that one i highly recommend that one comparing to this one and just overall it's a really good film uh, so yeah let me know your thoughts on the social commentary and yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you in my next video